Hola Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading for January 2024. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recording or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646-902-5715. Let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine God's Universe, can you tell us about your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for a Sagittarius is for love for a January of 2024. Can you please show me the energies prior to January? Prior to January, we have the Justice card in the upright, which is the card of Leo. Make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling. In that spread, I'll have something you don't know about them. In addition to if they're seeing or interested in somebody else, we have the Star card in the upright, which is the card of Aquarius for love energies in January. In my playlist for your 2024 Sun Mood Readings, I still have some to do. Put your requests in the comments. I'll get them done. Um, 2023s are in there also. See if they rang true for you or somebody else. And we're going to end on the Five of Swords as you move out of... Um, out of January into February. Finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, refer a friend, and support my efforts. That's always greatly appreciated. Let's get to your reading, Sagis. Okay, so justice card in the upright. Prior to January, I feel as though you're getting your justice. <laughs> I feel as though um, I am getting that there is a connection with somebody and they might have come back and apologized or tr are trying to make things right or something in that degree. And you're kind of like, yeah, you know, it's about time. Um, I also think that you're kind of, you know, being fair in regards to this person. I don't think you're, you know, raking them over the coals or anything like that. You're kind of like, you know, things happen. I get it. it. It meant a lot for you to come forward and, you know, try to, you know, or to let me know that what you did was wrong. And I think you're trying to uphold this, um, you know, integrity and do the right thing. And, um, try to work towards a positive outcome with this person instead of getting dragged into, you know, what it was previously. And in January, it looks as though this connection is reinvented. I don't necessarily know um, that it's going to be romantic. It might be just trying to build um, a positive personal connection with this person or some rapport or um, rebuild what was lost or rebuild the trust. Um, it could be a romantic connection. And the star card in the upright can often be, or it can sometimes be reconciliations. Um, but I feel as though there's just a connection there where you're starting to have faith and hope that you and this person can get along and things can be positive instead of, um, you know, how it was negative prior to. And this is kind of interesting with this five of swords in the upright. I mean, what we're seeing in this image is, is not, um, you know, the typical thing that you see in the five of swords. I almost feel as though this person has all the swords and is one, but is having regrets saying, was it really worth it? Um, I mean, I'll look into it more with the clarifiers, but that's the sense I'm getting. Maybe there was an argument between the two of you after January and you wanted to win no matter what, or they wanted to win no matter what. And then after the fact, it's like, hmm, was it really worth it that I did that? You know, um, you know, maybe that wasn't the best thing for me to do, or, or they're saying the same thing. Um, but I'll look into that. So why is the justice card here in the upright for Sagittarius's energies prior to January? Who's this person? What's this energy? It's funny because I feel like this person's like rolling their eyes. Like I feel like this person's talking to you and you're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all this before, but okay. I, I don't want to, I don't want to go over it and over it and over it again. Um, just say what you came here for. <laughs> Why is the justice card here in the upright? Who's this person? What's this energy for? Sagittarius says love prior to January. Who's this person? Okay. Page of Pentacles. This person, I feel, has a has an air about them where they are they pop up and they just kind of feel like they deserve to pop up in your life and and deserve to be heard. Um, there's an arrogance that, that kind of comes along with them, a little bit of entitlement that comes along with them. They're a little bit boorish, and I think that's why you're kind of rolling your eyes. Um, Ace of Swords in reverse just you know kind of says you have no plans with them or you're not, you're not interested in, in kind of planning something. You definitely, even though they've said what they've said and they've tried to make amends, you have doubts in regards to them. Um, you don't necessarily know that what they're, you know, what they're 
that they're being totally truthful or totally honest. So you are kind of holding back a little bit. And the moon card in reverse, which is the card of Pisces, is you seeing this person as clear as day or having seen this person as clear as day. Um, they can't hide anything from you. Um, you know, try as they might, you you totally, it's like a light switch has gone off and you can see everything about them. So um, you know, they might be trying to snow you a little bit, but I don't think that's going to work. Um, <laughs> why, is the, why is the star card here in in the reversed in the upright who's this person what's this energy okay we have the queen of wands in reverse we have the high priestess in the upright and we have the temperance card in reverse so i mean i i don't think you're going to jump back into it with this person i i see you having reservations um I mean, there's good things and there's bad things about it. I mean, first of all, with the Queen of Wands in reverse, I feel as if though this person um, really is really concerned about what you think about them. I think they fell from grace, so to speak. That's the phrase that usually goes along with the Queen of Wands in reverse. And they're wonder they're wondering what you still think about them. Do you still think poorly of them? Um, and they aren't really that confident. You know, they're kind of just just hanging back. They're not sure what what you're feeling about them or what have you. So I feel like they're being very tentative in that regard. Um, the high priestess in the upright tells me you know exactly what's going on. Um, I feel like you can read this person really well. The high priestess is a very intuitive card. It's trusting your intuition in regards to someone. And I think your gut feeling is saying, don't get too close with this person. It's okay to kind of connect with them. Um, but don't go, don't go further than that. And the reason why is with the temperance card in reverse, which is your card, of course, um, this person can get your goat. They, they cause you to, um, think negatively, be negative. Um, and you know, if you get too deep into it, that's, what's going to happen again. It's going to upset your balance. It's going to upset your world, your alignment. You aren't going to have peace. Um, and you just don't want to go there. So I feel like you're keeping this, you're okay to connect with this person. Um, you you do have hope or you are thinking the two of you can be something but not in a you're not going to let them in too much um why is the five of swords here in the upright who's this person what's this energy okay so struggle struggle struggles as you move forward All right, so we have the Five of Pentacles in the upright, the Death card in the upright, and the Justice card in the upright. So I do feel as though um, the two of you could have a, a clash of wills uh, moving forward, and I think it will have gone too far. Somebody said something they shouldn't have, or somebody wanted to win no matter what, and you know, um, really made the other person feel like crap. Um, and with the Five of Pentacles in the upright, I feel, the uh, well, I think it's you. You cast this person out. You're just like out of here. I tried it. It didn't work out. You know, get out. Um, <laughs> that's a good way of putting it. Here they are kind of suffering and going, oh, you know what I mean? Um, because I think, I think the second time around, you're just not doing it again. I, I think you think here you're contemplating and saying I could have gone about it better, but I, I think you're like, it is what it is. Death card in the upright, card of Scorpio, you moving on um, entirely, just kind of burning this bridge, purging from this connection because of whatever kind of happened there. Um, maybe this person ends up being back to their old ways. And with the justice card in the upright, you're not happy how you did it, but you're saying to yourself, you probably did um, the best thing you could have in the moment. And actually you think you were being pretty fair because I feel like you think you could have come down a lot harder on them um, if you wanted to. So <laughs> that's what I have for you all. If it does resonate, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me 646-902-5715. Otherwise, make sure you click on the video link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling in that spread. I'll have something you don't Know about them in addition to if they're saying you're interested in somebody else in my playlist or your 2024 sun moon readings um i still have some to do put your requests in the comments and i'll get them done 20 2023s are still in there see if they bring true for you or somebody else and then finally look me up on facebook instagram tiktok like share subscribe donate refer a friend in support of my efforts always greatly appreciated otherwise sagittarius says i will see you in your vimeo adios from veronica garnet bye